Hi, this is Professor Evans, and I'm in the Reston Center office this morning. I'm going to talk a little bit about Sergei Vita. Vita was probably the most important political figure of the last three or four decades of Imperial Russia. From his position as Minister of Finance in the 1890s and at the turn of the century, he undertook a sweeping transformation of Russian economic life which as a consequence then had an enormous impact on Russian society. When you do the research about him, you're going to find a lot of information about the different aspects of the Vita system. Um, the use of the gold standard for the ruble, the protectionist tariffs, the development of railways, the use of foreign investment and heavy industry, all those are some of the aspects of the so-called Vita system. But what's really important was that Vita had this idea that although Russia came late to industrialization, modernization, after all, the Industrial Revolution was almost a century old already, having begun in Great Britain in the 18th century, and it was well advanced in Western Europe and Germany and the United States, Russia was pretty much underdeveloped with regards to industry by the 1890s. What Vita believed was that even though Russia was coming late, it could avoid all the problems and missteps of the early industrializers and kind of catch up and leap forward, leap beyond the industrial level of the countries already in existence. In other words, even though Russia came late, it could use that to its advantage, it developed really quickly an industrial base and then easily catch up and then surpass the other industrial powers. That's been, a, that's been a revolutionary idea. A lot of other countries after that have tried. Some have succeeded, some haven't succeeded so well. Um, but Russia did by 1905, 1910, 1914. Russia had achieved extraordinary economic progress in industrializing the country. And one of the the sidelights of that industrial process was that it really concentrated industry in a certain key locations in the Russian Empire. St. Petersburg became an industrial city, Moscow to a lesser extent, and that was kind of something that was a result of industrialization. Um, uh, Veta never really had the full backing of the imperial family, because after all, what he was doing was really changing the very nature of Russian society. The nobility was going to be less important, agriculture and the landed gentry were going to diminish in importance, and what was going to be more important was the middle class, capitalists, industrialists, and everything, and that was going to upset the kind of traditional view of Russian society at the end of the 19th century. And so it's even more amazing that Victor was able to do as much as he was able to do without that kind of support from the imperial family. Okay.